Oi, oi! <laughs> How are you, mate? Fine. Shock, mate. This every week. Oh, uh, do you know what? Enough. Uh, Captain Marv's late again. Oh, right. To be fair, yeah, to mate. He has I, was at, I was at least three minutes early. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair uh, to Marv, he has been on it today, so he's probably in a ditch somewhere. <laughs> probably passed out in that shower. <laughs> <laughs> he's, nah, do you know what he's doing? <laughs> he's paying the lecky meter. <laughs> <laughs> oh right! Oh, I'll just put a message in, try and get him in. What we got today, boy? I've got some Coronas left from last week. Got two of them, and then obviously, yeah, yeah. We'll save that bit. We'll save it. Wait, keep it off the screen. We'll save it. <laughs> <laughs> oh mate! Right, where is he, man? For the listeners, obviously who listen to this on Apple, it was Beige's birthday yesterday. So we have a, a special, special um, episode in line for him. He is going to be wankered. <laughs> <laughs> oh, class, mate. Class. Yeah, I'm buzzing. So you, what, you didn't have a drink yesterday then, no? No, literally not, not one. Oh, Even when I was at home, I didn't have a drink. Saving it for tonight. <laughs> Well, yeah, mate, I thought Thursday night, even though I don't actually do anything on Fridays, I thought Thursday night, not really going to get drunk on my own, you know? Yeah, on a school night and all that. Got ya. Oh, tonight's episode is going to be good, mate. Henry Muggeridge is buzzing, let me tell you. <laughs> oh, he's in. All right, Marv's in. Let's, let's, uh, let's let him in. See what he's wearing this week. <laughs> Oh, here we go. What do you reckon? Lecky meters paid? <laughs> <laughs> oh, buongiorno. Am I in? Yeah, he's yeah. in. He's in. He's in. He's in. <laughs> oh, no. no. What's going on, mate? Yeah, all good. All good. Buzzing. I was, I'm, uh, I'm pleased to say, me and Louis were just talking about it. You've paid your lecky meter this week, so it's a bit brighter <laughs> today. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've made sure that I've put an extra bomb in. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Oh, I'm so glad to be here. What a week. I've been looking forward to this all week. Yeah. <laughs> hey, boys, it is the finale of season one. So, so quick. I cannot believe it. I can't season believe it's nearly finished. Oh, no. Episode 10, season one. Oh, buzzing, boys. And it's been a blast, hasn't it? We've had a great time. Oh, it's been yeah. unreal. Have we, have we said happy birthday to Lou yet? I've been waiting for yourself to come in, mate. I've informed, obviously, the listeners that listen on, uh, on Apple Podcasts or whatever. Yeah. I told them that it was his birthday yesterday. But, you know, as the three of us are now in, Beige, happy birthday, mate. Happy birthday, Thanks. mate. Love you, Beige. Thanks, boys. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, we haven't got a word in Edgeways this series, Beige being on here, but... I know. <laughs> <laughs> Absolute Please. joke, mate. Faze, what did you do last night for your birthday? Uh, just went to meet some of my mates. Yeah, how are you feeling today, mate? Well, I actually didn't drink yesterday at all. Oh. Well, I, must, I must just put it in there. You met your mates socially distanced, didn't you, Luke? Yeah. Yeah, got it. Just all the, you know, <laughs> all the busy listeners. Socially yeah, distanced. Love it. <laughs> love it. Oi, mate, well done for staying a true professional like you are and mm. keeping yourself ready for today because, uh, mate, all day, all day we've been going out. All us three about how good this one will be, the finale. But oh, hell I'm of a buzzing. series, boys, by the way. Cheers yeah. to that. Hell of yeah. a series. Cheers as well. Buzzing. Cheers, Beige. Happy birthday. Hell of a series. Thanks, mate. <laughs> <sighs> I think it's only fair, before we even get the wheel out today. Yep. Old Beige, um, you have to do some form of drink, just to obviously kick off the pod. It's his birthday, it's his birthday mate. Yeah. It's oh, is there a shot? Yes. Have a look. <laughs> no questions asked. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> what you got today, Lou? Smirnoff, mate. I've gone posh. Oh, got it for my oh, birthday, oh. you know. How old are you now, Lou? 12, 13. How old is it? <laughs> wow. That's not even a knockoff either. It's actually Smirnoff. It's not a Smirnoff yeah, or anything. 
No, mum, <laughs> mum actually, when mum gave it to me, she goes, yeah, I thought, just because it's your birthday, I'll get you a proper one. That's, yeah. not, from, that's not from home bargains, that one, is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's... Oh, just a vodka shot then, Lou. Is that what you're doing? Well, yeah. Oh, oh, you're going to strike out of the bottle? Well, yeah, I don't have a glass. I don't have a shot wait, glass, so... Wait, let me tell you something, uh, Harry. Now that he's of age, mate, are you of age? How old are you now? Seventeen. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, you're of age. In your <laughs> Come on, mate, have a swig like a man. Put some hairs on your chin. Love it, boy. Oh, wow. You sure it's not water, Lou? Anytime anyone says, to be fair, tonight, yeah. you've got to... <laughs> yeah. To be fair, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Love it, Lou. <laughs> um, no, right, to be if... fair, Joey, me and Harry did say, cool. every time we spin the wheel, I have to drink with whoever it lands on anyway. Love that. Love that. You know what, mate? That wasn't even my idea. That was Bass's idea. Yeah, it actually was my idea. I feel like there's a maturity... Coming in now that he's 17, I feel like he's saying all the right things. Wow. Um, Let's get that wheel out. Yeah. Without further ado, get the wheel out, boy. Well, what are we going to do if it lands on oh. me then? Yeah, well, you'll just drink it anyway. Oh, all right. Yeah. LW. Double. Tell you what, 10 episodes in and your wheel spin is so yeah, good. Yeah, it's got better every, every. Episode on oh, Henry. Oh, muggers, mate. He'll Love be buzzing it. for that. He just that sent me a. <laughs> Why are we spinning it again, by the way? <laughs> no, land on Henry. It's not in yet, you div. <laughs> oh, said Harry. Mate, it's just landed on him again. <laughs> oh, right, beige. Well done, mate. Well volunteered. That's you. <laughs> well, am I actually spinning it again? or? Yeah, one more. One more. Quickly, one more. I thought he said Harry. <laughs> <laughs> Get out. I'll slow, I'll slow down. Wait. <laughs> Stand and let me get in. Right, Paige, mate, well done, mate. Stop doing it. <laughs> just absolutely launch it. Try yeah, it. Try. Look, oh, you're 17 now. There we go. Meow. <laughs> Say what, if it lands on uh, Harry again or whatever his name is. <laughs> <we'll just> <laughs> <laughs> oh, the tension. Go on. Harry, it's you. Boss. Uh, love it. <laughs> All right. I've only got half in this one, so I'll down this. I'll do the other half. Boys, episode 10. Do you know what? I'll join you because it's the last one of the season and I'm getting this, this. down, man. Boys, Cheers. I'll do this and then another one. <sighs> hey, what as well, boys? Go on. The downing of the drinks is an art in itself, I think, from all of us. Yeah. It's maybe, yeah. I don't think it's actually landed on me, though. Oh. Oh, all right. Is your name even on it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but I actually, I actually don't think it has That's landed so on me. so funny, yeah. I re- there's a reason why it hasn't landed on you, Dave. <laughs> That's really cool. That's so really funny. Oh, let's actually have a look at the wheel. To be fair, you get, it, you get the wheel out every week. And yeah. you know, I don't know about you. I never look at it. I'm just like, oh yeah, go on. I don't, mate. I just go, oh yeah, it's me again. Who it just got? says, mate. It says everyone's name three times, and then the purple one says spin again. Right. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, you got a red one as well. Where's your other name then? You got two blues. Oh. Beige, 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 beige. Oh, three. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> Slow down the beginnings, boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, boys. Um. He is going to be a little bit later today, um, but he is bang up for this, let me tell you. He phoned me earlier. That is a massive fine. <laughs> <laughs> he was, um, I think he was already on the booze earlier, so he will be, uh, yeah. Jump he'll be clap. Up today. <laughs> <laughs> Finish work today, straight to... Well, I was going to say pub then. What a lie. <laughs> um, Beige, I know you've got a little summing summing, didn't you, from yeah, one of our yeah. listeners. They did time. <laughs> Uh, okay, honest, tell before, me about this. Before you, tell me about this, this. before you show this, Beige, I didn't know what this drink was. So Was this when me and you were talking about it the other day at work? Yeah. And we both were a bit like... Yeah, I didn't know what this was. I went to pick it up yesterday. They were buzzing. They're like, yeah, make sure he drinks it on the pod or whatever. Now, these little things, they're that big or whatever. 
They're like 25%. It's like drinking petrol, mate. <laughs> it is horrible. So, baby. Yeah, 50, 50 millilitres it's got in here, and it's 25%. So, get it in the Thanks screen, dude. <laughs> so, what's done? O'Donnell Moonshine. Moonshine. <laughs> I've gone for the I've gone for the berry one, Harry. Mm. Well, How many you got, wanna... What's that, mate? Well, have you got a like a, have you got a selection of moonshines? Yeah, I got uh, Tom got me four. This and one's what, wild berry. One of them's toffee. One of them's nut, and one of them is nut apple. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> one of them is apple. <laughs> so they're twenty five percent on all of them, yeah. Base, do you uh, want us to say our goodbyes now? Or... <laughs> no, to be fair, I've limited myself to one. I've only got one. And I yeah, don't I know think, if I'll honestly, it. I love seeing you get pissed and I love us all having a drink, but I reckon just oh, one. Yeah, don't mean to die. <laughs> yeah. Bring a couple of them to work tomorrow because after uh, after we're done, we're going to get moonshine. Uh, just, just want to say big thanks to because I know he, he's an avid listener to this. So big thanks to Tom for obviously getting him a little a little birthday yeah, gift. Little little thanks, Tom. Buzzing. Beige, Beige, Mike, Tom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My birthday as well, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, fair play, Tom. What a, what, a, what a legend for doing that. Oh right, boys. He's struggling to get in. Hold on, I'm going to try and see. Sure. <laughs> I hate people that struggle to get in. So unprofessional. <laughs> yeah, this is awful from you, mate. I don't know. Do you know what? What's it been now, Lou? Three weeks where he's been struggling to get in? Old Captain Marl? Unbelievable. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Unbelievable. Are you on the tablet again today or what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am, yeah. Um, oh, wow. Well, right, boys, my face is going to come on this twice because I've got to do this. So. Ooh. Double bowl. <laughs> what a drink. That's the rule. <laughs> what, what do we reckon? Should I have a sip of this before he gets in? Yeah, go on, mate. Not be so bad. It's your birthday. Yeah, go on, the boy. Right, I'll mate, this one's well sweet, to be fair. Wait, wait there. What, yeah, what, what's the aromas you're getting? Talk to us. What, what's it? <laughs> have you ever had, like, Jolly Ranchers? He goes, have you ever had um, petrol? <laughs> 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 you ever had that? Yeah. Diesel before. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Yeah, mate, it just smells like a really strong sweet. Do you know what? Yeah, wait, have a quick swig. Let's, I want to see your reaction. Yeah. Come on, because you're the first person I know that's ever had moonshine. Mate, honestly, it doesn't like taste bad at all. Oh, neck it then. <laughs> <laughs> Get it down, you boy. <laughs> I had a little sip of them all yesterday. And, mate, honestly, the nut one is vile. Is it? Is it? Yeah, it just, Why tastes, that? A, just tastes a pure, like, ac- Full on pure hate nuts. Nut. <laughs> Just taste my pure nuts. <laughs> yeah, it is uh, open, boy. But yeah, mate, I actually taste, taste decent, to be fair. But look, I've had one swig and I've already, there's not that much left anymore. Yeah, and I'm already Bates. dealing with this. Yeah. <laughs> Bates, describe it for us, because there'll be listeners like myself and, and Captain Marv that have never seen this drink before. So what, no, what is never, it like? Wait. Mate, it's actually quite nice. What does it this taste like? Actually... like? What's the closest thing you've had to it that tastes of moonshine? <laughs> well, mate, you can't taste any alcohol in it, like at all. It fully just tastes of dangerous berry. That's awful, mate. Mm-hmm. Oh, you... Tom Taylor Hill has killed you off. Let me tell you. Right, boys. Yeah, mm-hmm. mate. I'll just drink it and I'll just pass it. Yeah, out. just keep, mate. Just keep getting <laughs> yeah. at it. That's keep right. You're in, it. you're in the comfort of your own home, so buzz it. <laughs> yeah, you have got Elvis Presley looking over you. Should be fine. <laughs> Mate, oi, look at this. Oh. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> hell, he's looking after you, isn't he? <laughs> oh, there we go. Oi, there's a clock up here, isn't there? <laughs> Bloody hell, beige. Don't show everyone this. You look like a <laughs> Presley fanatic. <laughs> oh, right, boys. He is in. Okay. Um, episode 10. Let's have a quick cheers, boys, before we start it. Episode cheers, 10. Boys. Hell of a Let's bring him in, old Henry Muggeridge. Here he is. <laughs> yes, yes, chaps. <laughs> yes, mate. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> what a start. Thank you, cross. I can see you all. 
Oh, wow. If you try to get as close to the polo as you could. Oh, rascal, mate. Absolute rascal. <laughs> right to the top as well. Yeah, definitely. Oh, to be fair, yeah, everyone's gone. Yeah, I'll... Oh, mate. <laughs> Only one top button. Yeah, I know. I'm a stinker there. Front. Cheers, boys. <laughs> cool to school. Oh, how are you, Hen? You right, mate? Yeah, I'm good, mate. I'm good. Yeah, sorry it's a bit of a while, but... uh. Yeah, we're here now, mate. We're here and ready. Yeah, Barton, you got a drink? Yes, mate. I'm on the uh, the gin tonight. No, what's, yeah. Hello. What's Lil? He's uh, his birthday boy, isn't he? Or has yeah, he had his birthday? Yeah, mate. Yeah, How old? Seventeen. Wow, big boy, big boy. Now, <laughs> I've actually, I'll tell you what. I've actually got you a present. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I've actually got a present. I'll put it in the post. It's uh, a beige coat. <laughs> Don't worry, um, it's Zara. Other oh, Zara Vader. It's favourite colour as well. Yeah, Vader. It's in the post uh, tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, decent, mate. <laughs> Unreal. Hey, it's the best rascal polo you're wearing anyway. <laughs> what size is it? What's that? What size did you get him? 13 to 14 boys. Four. <laughs> Wow. Oh. That hair in, mate. What is that all about, by the way? Oh, Wait, I just can't get it cut. Four haircuts in one. Size 29 on top. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, unbe- unbelievable. You're getting it tonight, by the way. What, what are you doing? Uh, I've got, got some beers. Yeah, yeah. where's that rascal, uh, rascal stuff, spirits you've got, mate? I've been watching. Yeah, I've got... I've got Bottle of body, and then I've got this moon, moonshine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. At least you've gone up from a bottle of Glens, you had. <laughs> mate. Every year it's going to get more and more. Mate, right on them uh, brown paper bags. Oh. <laughs> mate, Honestly, to be fair, Harry actually bought me a bottle of Absolute for my birthday. Mm. I did. Oh. oh. Going Name yourself well, are you, mate? Yeah. <laughs> Absolute legend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, class. What an entrance, by the way, lads. What an <laughs> entrance, let me tell you. Had a long day at work, and you're my entertainment for the night. Yeah, buzzing, mate. Buzzing. <laughs> four hours long, by the way. <laughs> I reckon <laughs> before we start tonight, because I think, you know, that's probably, well, that is the best entrance we've had. Um, well, Pat Hardings weren't bad, but to yeah. be fair, give oh, one yeah. of our co-hosts. Yeah. Uh, you still geezer? Yeah. Full yeah. <laughs> 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 kit. I'm, I'm in my white old kit, but I would have got back. It don't so fucking fit like, anymore, does it? <laughs> no, it don't. Right. Um, the last game I had a small, and it was like I was wearing a boob tube. Uh, <laughs> I'll pit on a bit of weight. Oh. Um, right, Beige, I reckon before we start, because I know you'll be up for this, Henners. We obviously yeah. have one of these bad boys. Um, uh, now, I'll tell you, before you come in, we always do yeah. a little thing before we, the guest comes in, and it landed uh-huh. on you three times, was it, boys? Yeah, three, <laughs> three times in a row. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> let's have a little spin. If it lands on you, we'll have a little drink, and then we'll kick off episode two. No 10. problem, mate, no problem. <laughs> also, a new rule, whoever it lands on, Beige has got to do a drink as well. It's yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah. Of course, mate. Who's that? Landed on spin again. What have you got? One of those rigged ones, is it? It's got like a... <laughs> it's got a it's weight got in a your name. name. <laughs> oh, it landed on me. Love it, Love it baby. baby. Double oh. shots. <laughs> what am I doing then? Shot of uh, shot this. Shot of moonshine. <laughs> yeah, uh, definitely. What, what, is the, uh, what is the moonshine? <laughs> oh, mate. It's basically, one of the listeners bought him a birthday present. Now, in that little bottle there... Yeah. yeah, like 25%. Yeah, mate, 50 milliliters, 25%. <laughs> <laughs> All fun. It brought me four of them. <laughs> You're going to be sick by the end of it. <laughs> oh, I love it, babe. Brilliant. Out of the bottle, you're such a tramp. It's a joke. Mate, what, what, fair play, fair play. Mate, I'll be doing the, uh, you know, the fake squig when you push it back in. Yeah. The bottle. <laughs> mate, I've seen that go. Oh, mate. Fair play. Love it, Lou. Mate, look. Nah, Lou. Literally less than half left. 
Lou, I might have to get you another shirt, mate. Fair play. I might have to get you another shirt. <laughs> <laughs> like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. <laughs> or I get you a little short combo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh right i'll um let's kick off the pod what a start yeah um, well, okay first question from me mate um yep. now a lot of a lot of our listeners probably won't know this about you um but you, you spent a lot of time at bristol city didn't you as a youth yeah i don't know did you have, how many years did you have as a pro there um yeah i was one year pro two year scholar um yeah, so obviously I was at Fulham at a young age, um, from under 10s right up to under 16s. I had a uh, a year out there between under yeah, so under 11s. I had a year out, went back, um, obviously got let go. Um, so yeah, went to Bristol City, which was a bit daunting. Um, obviously, at the age of 15, I moved home, so I wasn't yeah. even 16 yet. Um, as soon as I done my GCSEs, I literally went straight there. Parents still lived in Tunbridge Wells, which is where I live. And um, yeah, I just basically live with a lady, like a house lady um, that looked after us. And uh, yeah, it was good. Um, I'd done two years scholar, which was, mate, for me, unbelievable. Um, I absolutely loved it there. Um, and yeah, I've become captain in my first year, um, playing, you know, brilliant football, but in positions that actually, like you said, most people won't actually know I play. So, yeah. you know, you left back, a right back or a centre back. You know, that's where I went there. You know, and I know that sounds really silly, but, you know, I've always been five foot, you know, five foot eight, obviously smaller back then. And I've used to just be able to leap and play yeah. centre. And that's actually where I played most of my uh, my games for Bristol at centre back, which is looking at me now and the way I play and where I play. Like, yeah, you, you wouldn't put that, you know, where I was. But, you know, I moved to Fulham and they actually, I was a winger slash uh, centre midfield player. And they said, look, to be honest, you're, you're not going to get in over to who we've got. But. If you try out as a right back, you might have a chance. And I thought, well, it's worth a go. Yeah. So I tried it, never played there before, and ended up playing literally most of my career right up until I was about 20, 21 um, at right back. So, uh, yeah, and then, yeah, Bristol in my second year was good. Obviously, captain the team that obviously in the FA Cup and, and things like that. So it was, it was, Bristol was brilliant, and it's an unbelievable place to live. Like, the yeah. people, like, I know it sounds stupid, but they can fall asleep standing up. Like they're like <laughs> they're they're like the most relaxed people. Like they're, they're so good. And then um, luckily, obviously, I had a good scholarship program. I end up having a pro, um, uh, and it was brilliant at first. But obviously, things just you know some things work your way and some things don't. You know, I'm not someone to turn around and say like I'm the most unluckiest footballer ever. Like because. You know, there's no such thing, really. You get a bit of bad luck, but you, you don't have bad luck throughout your whole career. So, you know, I was at Bristol um, in, my, in my pro, and it was the first year that they'd done under-21s. So, like, a lot of yeah. places have an under-21 squad. So, when I signed my pro, obviously, the first thing you'd think is, right, I'm in the first team. It, it doesn't work like that ever in football, really. So, it was the first year they had under twenty one. So, I trained with the under-21s. Uh, one day a week and then obviously I trained with the first team the rest of the days and absolutely loving it you know I had a had a you know a great time but I got sent out on loan at Christmas um, I went to Kidderminster at first which are in the conference premier um, trained there all week went to play on Saturday got injured um, so then I got sent out on loan to a team called Clevedon which are in the Evo Stick League at the time up there um, Got sent out at Christmas, manager got sacked at Bristol um, and then I come back at the end of the season and I scored loads of goals from right back. I think it was 15 goals from um, from Christmas to the end of the season at a team called Clevedon, which I absolutely loved. But I thought, oh, well, look, if they've seen me, then hopefully they might give me another chance or the new manager that comes in, um, it was Derek McGuinness at the time, would go, you know what, we haven't really seen enough of this boy. Um, and what had happened is I come back and played a reserve game um, and he watched me and I was playing uh, right back and I had a really good game and he pulled me after Derek McGuinness and he just basically said to me like, mate, like, you're trying to impress me and you're letting the coach play you out of position. And I was like, well, no, 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 I play right back. Like, and he's like, I've got you on my list as a centre midfielder. And I just knew from then that something just wasn't right. So yeah. his decision, he pulled me in and just said, look, <laughs> 
I've, I've got a job on my hands. My job is to stay in the championship. Um, and fair play to him, he did. You know, he, he was a good manager to them. You know, I can't, I can't knock what he did for the football club. But he just said, youngsters aren't in my plans at the time. Um, and, you know, we had a really good youth set up. Um, and a couple of the boys, or a lot of the boys stayed on. Um, I think it's three or four out of the big group of us. Uh, and they've gone on to do big things. So, for me, maybe it's the right decision. You know, I could be bitter and say, like, I should have got another pro deal. I should have got another chance. But I'm playing in Ryan and South and they're playing in the Premier League. So, that is, <laughs> is right. You know, I can't argue with that. You know, it's, yeah. You know, it's not like I'm playing in the Prem now and they're playing in the Ryman, you know, and then I can go, well, I told you so. Mm, but yeah. actually, I look back at it and that was a bad time in my life. But when I look at it, it's probably the right decision. You know, it, it, he's yeah. made the right decision. I can't say that, you know, he's wrong because he, he's not. How, you know? Ken, how old were you when, you when that news hit you? Uh, I was 18. So 18, I had my... Because I was quite young, I'm July, so... Obviously, when I started my college, um, my uh, scholarship program, I was 15. So, 15 to end of my 17s. And then I did um, my year pro, which is like 18, late 18s. So, into 19. Um, so, yeah, then obviously I've got a decision on my hands. I've been released from a club that's miles from home. Um, had a few offers in local clubs around the area. But I think at that time, I just needed family. I hadn't yeah. had my family for a year. So, I just thought, I'm just going to come back home. Yeah, yeah. Um, fair, fair play. Like, yeah, it was, it's, it's a bit of a weird one, but yeah, yeah, I come back home and then ended up playing um, for Dartford. Yeah, so I had like a, my pre-season at Dartford. Um, I played against West Ham in a, in a friendly, and then got picked up by Charlton. Um, so I ended up playing for Charlton for you know maybe three or four months, um, and then decided to go to Tunbridge Angels, um, and that's obviously where my non-league career started and i'm yeah. still in non now yeah that that um that actually brings me nicely to question too mate i've gone yeah go on, mate. like life in non-league so with this question yeah. it's kind of you can compare it it's really hard to compare obviously as a pro to non-league mm -hmm. mm -hmm. i think we've had you know we've had a few ex-pros on here yeah and the biggest thing for them is just that training every day to then training twice a week in the evenings yeah not yeah. really maybe having much to do in the day or, or whatever. Um, uh -huh. We had, obviously we had ads on Adam El Abd and he mentioned yeah. that the standard of training was probably higher in non-league because people wanted yeah, a bit more. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, yeah. Your, your take mate on, on non-league football. Well, obviously the difference is that it's how it is, you know, the professional game is more professional, you know, but it is very tippy tappy. So when I played um, for <clears> Bristol, um, as a scholar, I played a lot of reserve games. You know, I was a regular in reserves at, you know, 16. And the tempo is so slow. I know it sounds really silly, but the, the tempo is actually quite slow because it's a reserve game, but the ball speed's quick, mm. you know. And the difference between, obviously, pro level, it's different now probably, but pro level at the time for me, the hardest thing to adapt is that, you know, the ball moves quicker. But when you go to non-league, mate, like, they're absolute workhorses. Like, people just work so hard. Like, and I'm not saying that people didn't work hard in the pro game. They did. But there was a... Uh, the way I can describe it is more respect. But like the higher you go, for me, you, ha you get a bit more respect on the ball. You yeah, know, yeah. Yeah. You know I, I found it... You know, when we play against teams in pre-season, like we played Eastleigh this year, you know, I had more time on the ball than I've ever had, you know, for, for a couple of years. And they're playing in, you know, top level football. They're like, obviously, conference, sat, uh, conference premier. But I had so much time on the ball because they just give you that, yeah. you know, time. And then, obviously, when the time's to come to press you, then, obviously, that's when they win the ball back and they do their it things. Like they, press it, they press in the right areas, don't they? So, yeah. for you, playing centre mid, they'll let yeah. you have the ball for certain areas of the pitch. And then, uh -huh. when they see an opportunity, yeah. they'll go for it. And that's where they probably you know, are so successful in the league they're in because it's all about maybe picking picking parts of the game where they're like, yeah, we're going to press now. Do you know what I mean? 100%, 100%. And actually, the, the biggest shot to non-league is obviously, I, c I come out of um, uh, Cholton and I went to Tummage Angels and I had a meeting with the manager, Tommy Warrow, which is, he's an unbelievable manager. He's, he's like a proper like geezer. He's like six foot five, like 
He walks around like he's carrying two carpets. Like, he's actually <laughs> proper, proper nuts, mate. Like, someone at 18, you're scared of. Like, there's yeah. no doubt that he pulled me in the office. And um, I remember him saying, like, I hit, talking about football. And then he just turned around and said to me, randomly, just like, do you drink? And I was like, uh, like I'm 18. I don't, re- at the time, I don't really drink. I never have done. I was like, uh, no. And he just goes, well, we'll change that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm there, like, laughing. It's all a joke. And then, like, first game, everyone's got to stay till six o'clock. Yeah. And you have to have a drink. Like, I was, if I was to have, like, a, a lemonade, I'd be the only one not drinking. Yeah. So it's like a culture, but uh, it was so, like, non-league is a massive togetherness. Like, it's, there's so much togetherness in non-league. Like, it's different to pro games because, you know, you train together every day and you build up relationships. But, you know, you go out, you probably go out where you you know, beginning of the season, mid-season, end of the season. But, you know, in non sometimes you're going out every weekend with, the, yeah. with your foot. <laughs> like, yeah. it's, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. But, yeah, like, to be fair, Aunt Tommy James was, was amazing. I had a, had a brilliant time there. A uh, brilliant time there. And actually, in non-league, there's not many clubs that, you know, I've said, like, yeah, I'll, I've had a bad time there. I think yeah. it's more, you adapt. But right yeah. now, the... Would I like to play higher? Of course I would. I'd love to play higher, but I actually just love non-league. I understand. <laughs> I just love it. I just love turning up like, with just a bunch of lads that have, I don't know, they care, but they're just yeah. in there. Like, it's just, you look forward to going to games and training and because although it's serious, like, there's some it parts takes of it. a little bit, doesn't it, with non-league? Like, oh. I'm sure like when you've played pro and you're getting ready for games, it's probably like, Obviously, with non-league, you're still going to get nervous for games. Mm-hmm. But when you're like non-league, you're all in it kind of together. And you know, like, at mm-hmm. the end of the day, win, lose or draw, obviously you want to win. But you yeah. know, no one's like, lives are at stake. Or, like, don't, you know, no. you can all have a beer after the game. You can all go out after the game and still enjoy each other's company. Where yeah. like, maybe with the, the pro game, you know, jobs yeah. are at stake. I mean, I know jobs are at stake, but... Do you know what I mean? There's probably mm. like that little yeah. bit less off where you can look at each other and be like, we did lose today, we did give it our mm. all, but at least we can have a we, we can have a beer and like enjoy what, what we're doing. Yeah, one hundred percent. And like I said, maybe to be fair, the, the, the difference between me, a pro game and, and non league, like maybe I might be the wrong person to to interpret that to you. <laughs> I was only there for a year. You know, I was only a mm. pro for a year. Obviously I lived the pro lifestyle for, for my scholarship years, but you know, it might be different at other clubs. Like some clubs are, you know, they go out and they do loads of things. But obviously, at the time, I was only, you know, 18 in the under 21s. I wasn't really a first team member as such, you know. So, yeah, that, that's the only difference. I think that non league's just a, a bit of a laugh at times. Yeah. Yeah. No, no one's watching you and judging you constantly, you yeah. know. Mm. You're judged eventually. Like, you know, if you have you know, five bad games, then in non-league, anyone will get found out. But in the pro game, you have one bad game, you're, you're the West Pound. Everyone's on, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like the Prem. Like, I see people talk about players that I think, like, like they've scored, like, a hat-trick the week before, and then they'll literally not score. Like, say, for example, Harry Kane, score three against whoever, not score the next game, and they'll be like, ah, oh, he's no good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, you don't get that. Yeah. <laughs> you don't get that. No, ledge. No, that's a good insight, actually. That, especially yeah. some of our listeners will think, especially some of the White Oaks listeners. Obviously, they yeah. they love the club. Don't get me wrong; they're, they're great oh, fans, man. and they think, you know, that the players obviously will have the similar feelings to the fans, which not all the time is the same. Um, mm-hmm. so it's a good insight, actually, into just in, wanting to enjoy it and play with play with your yeah. mates, almost. You know, and I think yeah. when you have that togetherness, that's when you start uh-huh. getting results. You know, yeah, hundred. Yeah. Okay, question three from me. This one is probably our favourite question um, that we ask all the guests. So I've gone, craziest teammate you've played with. This can be one, or, you know, you can narrow it down to one. You can say one from Bristol or whatever. Yeah. If you can narrow it down to one, brilliant. Yeah. Harry, did you get the same questions as me? I got uh, creamy teammate. Yeah, I know. I'm panicking. I've just seen it. I've gone, what the fuck? Obviously a typo, isn't it? Creamiest team. I saw creamiest. I'm thinking, wait, is this an inside <laughs> joke? Like, <laughs> oh, creamiest uh, team, mate. I was like, I don't know. Well, what have you boys done on Night Out, by the way? 
Mate, obviously you're a little bit younger than me, like you boys. So like, <laughs> you said creamiest. I thought it was like a slang word. I was thinking like, I can't ask what that means. I look so old. No, I was probably panicking. I was like, yeah, let's just all like, pretend we know what creamiest means. Yeah, I was just like, yeah. Was like, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, bad. Great, crazy. I'm like, I'm, I can relax a little bit. I was uh, panicking. <laughs> <laughs> I've had some crazy teammates, like, you know, some crazy, crazy things that have happened in football, like, you just can't believe. Um, I was lucky, like, at the time, David James come to, um, the goalkeeper come to Bristol City when I was there. Oh, and no. Legend of the game, by the way. Legend. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> crackers. Like, was I'm it? not joking, crackers. Like, first day, he's got one of them... <laughs> Astros with the long back, like, and it's like purple, but all blacked out windows. I'm like, I made a noise, and I was thinking, what is that? And like, me and the boys are like just turning up to training, and like, I'm just looking, I'm thinking, oh, that's David James, and he's in there like listening to opera, full lap, like full lap. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely crackers. If I turn up to training late, but what you'll do, you'd come down, and like some of the boys, I don't know if any of the boys that you've had previously would would have worked with him, but you'd come down and like. The goalkeepers would be like to one side doing like yeah, their usual catching, whatever. He's just there, like focusing, and he's just like saving things out the top bins, but no one's kicking a ball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. He's like visualizing saving, but that was like, he's like that for like a half hour. Like, <laughs> the and, like visualizing kicking the ball. Like, I don't know whether that was something that he like focused on or whether he's done all throughout his whole career, but. That was one thing, uh, but for some reason, the, the craziest teammates I've had have always like necessarily been goalkeepers. Like they yeah. just absolutely free, didn't they? Yeah. Right. The guy, called, guy called Clark Masters, right, mate. What a guy! Right. He's like a family friend to a certain extent, but I've I've never known this side of him. And he used to like turn up absolutely steaming on a Saturday. Right. <laughs> we get on a team coach, um, and he's just like going to me. Like, he'd always sit next to me. He called me like his little brother, and he's sitting next to me, like, Do I smell? And I'm like, Mate, you, you stink. Like, you stink. <laughs> like, the alcohol. And he said, He said, like, <laughs> I was worried that I wouldn't turn up to the game. I actually, as soon as I got home from a night out, I put my tracksuit on. But like, he slept, <laughs> <laughs> woke up, and then would just literally drive to the coach. Um, and the story, <laughs> we were lucky at, um, we were lucky at the time of Angels. We went on a, a tour to Belgium. Oh, um, real. A few teams there, and uh, I've got to be careful what I say. Obviously, I've said to you about the kids, so I'm very careful to a certain extent. But <laughs> right, he's on this, like, he's on this tour, right? And the gaffer, like, he's good as gold. Like, he's obviously promoted drinking, and he and he likes a big togetherness with us. But we had a game the next day, and he said to everyone, like, right, everyone must be in by twelve. I don't mind if you drink, you do whatever, but everyone in by twelve. But 10 o'clock you must be at lunch like uh, breakfast like you must be there like no, no matter what so we're all like all right yeah yeah we may come in at one but he wasn't someone you sort of messed around so anyway we see the gaffer about like quarter past 11 absolutely off his face like <laughs> still and he completely, thinking like, get in. he ain't getting in at yeah. 12 yeah he completely changed his mind he's like ah lad stay out to as late as you want so <laughs> Uh, we, we've <laughs> somehow we've got into this club, right? This this club in uh, in Antwerp, and I just remember, right? Gary uh, Gary from um, Hastings, right? He just like seen him. I said, "Oh, have you seen Clark?" He goes, "No, no, no I've not seen him." I said, "Oh, okay." We're looking around the room, and all we see is this geezer, like he's like six foot five, whatever, in a white. Um, a white shirt done right up and he's running from one end of the club, bear in mind it's packed, to the other end and all you can see is his head, his fingers running across and he's saving things in the top corner <laughs> wearing a white shirt, right? And no one's, prom no one's asked him to do this. Like, he's actually just <laughs> going back. So, anyway, like, we, we sort of left him to it. Like, he's like in a car. <laughs> and uh, so, anyway, 10 o'clock's come. Where's Clark? No one's seen him. No one can see him. Uh, no, he's nowhere to be seen. Still in the club doing drills. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, unbelievable. Right? And he, like, Gaffer just said, like, where's Clark? Like, when he gets back, I want to see him. Like, he's in serious trouble. So, mate, it got to, like, three o'clock. Bear in mind, we were playing a five o'clock kickoff. 
And the gaffer said to us at one, I think it was, go and have lunch and then, you know, when you come back, we'll get on the coach. We come back and Clark literally outside our hotel, legs crossed, wearing the same clothes. Like, <laughs> what? It was like he had black sleeves, literally had black sleeves, buttoned, done up, legs crossed, <laughs> with a cigar. <laughs> gone, he's gone, good night, was it, boys? <laughs> <laughs> He was like that the whole time, mate. There's nothing like, you know. So tell me, um, he was starting. Was he starting that no? day? Was he starting Sorry? that day? Oh, yeah, mate, he had the best game I've ever seen anyone have. Like, <laughs> he made, you know, like, see, you know, the gold steaming, like, sort of clawed it back. Yeah, he made yeah. one he had the best game of his life, and, you know. Still with the cigar like, in his like, mouth, unreal. <laughs> like, like, in Belgium, he played this, like, little team in Belgium. He's on the table after the game, like, singing England song, going, England, England. <laughs> hey, <laughs> like, he's just crackers. He's just crackers. Yeah, so, yeah. Like, me, he's one of the best I've ever, like, played with. And you know what? I'm, like, a bit in the changing room. But yeah. he's just, like, a complete new level, mate. Wait, like, it, it's funny you say that while you're, like, in the change room. Well, I actually played against you pre-season. <laughs> and I told I told Harry this story, and I've I've got to say it because I told Harry this the other day. Sorry. We were both bitches. Basically, uh, Whitehawk versus Eastbourne Borough pre-season, yeah. and one of the boys left one on you, and yeah. I didn't hear it. But my best mate that plays at Eastbourne Borough, Craig Lewis, who we've had on, he was like, "Oh, my, I think you're wearing number eight. I think would you have worn number eight or ten? Yeah, yeah, I was in playing in the middle. Yeah, yeah, eight or ten. He goes, oh, my God, no, you, you've got to listen to what this kid said. So, basically, some kid left one on you, and you went up to him, and you were like, you fucking mug, you fucking mug. I hated what you've done. But at the end of the game, me and you are going to have a fight at the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> and the kid was shitting himself. He was like, oh, no, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. And then when you literally were like, me and you are going to have a fight at the end of this, and we'll talk about the game. Like, Greg saw it all, and he said, it's one of the funniest things he's ever seen on the pitch. And that, right. like, that, that's mine and good humour. So thing, when I heard it, I thought, oh, God, that's unbelievable. So the kid was kissing himself, but then you were like, me and you, we're going to have a pint. <laughs> you know? But it was so funny the way Greg told it. The thing is, I don't you know, say, is this right? something you do? No, no, no. Like, H, H will tell you, right? H will tell you this for a fact. Like, I, I don't get like that because I do it because it's just, I find it funny. Yeah, like, yeah. Like I, I would have done that and just be looking to like my teammates like laughing like right over my shoulder but, like being sick. <laughs> like, I do it all the time like I I like have chats with people in the middle of midfield all the yeah, time yeah. yeah about life and I just talk <laughs> 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 I some people like that I play against I, I do it when um like, on a night out like I'll just say to them like yeah remember that time you said that where you were just talk rubbish and they just look at me like what is this guy on about? <laughs> the whole our, centre mid, our centre mid was so confused because he was like, oh, <laughs> no, like he's going to snap me in. And then you went on and on and you were like, yeah, we'll have a pint at the end. And I thought, oh, that is brilliant. Because you oh. don't really see that in non-league. You just see the boys that are either going to like, either oh. try and snap you again or give you yeah. verbal. But oh, it was so like refreshing to see. It was so right. funny. Yeah. The, problem, the problem would be if... You know, if I was like that, and after the game, the geezer took it seriously, like, you know, I'm nowhere to be seen. I'm straight in my car, bang. Right <laughs> <laughs> but that's if that's true. the time like, the game, like, I'll shake people's hands. Some people are like, probably serious, like, no, 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 you said you were going to... I'm like, mate, like, I'm joking. Like, I this is how I am. You either get it or you don't. You know, if you yeah. get it, you laugh and, you know, you have a beer off. If you don't get it, then, like, I've had geezers, like, especially at Whitehawk, I've had some people, like, Take it further. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, the, like, I'm actually, like, I'm actually being serious. Like, I'm going to fight someone. I'm never, ever going to fight someone. <laughs> <laughs> if I ever do it to anyone, like, I'm just not going to. Like, it's just stupid. Yeah. It's quite funny. <laughs> but that's funny you say that because I actually sort of remember that. Yeah. But, I, but, like, Greg came straight out to me after the game because that's kind of mine and his humour. And he's yeah. like, oh my God, number eight said the funniest thing ever. And he told me, <laughs> me and was creasing on the pitch. Mm. And then we spoke to him the the after. I was like, why'd you shoot yourself? <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, I didn't oh. know. I didn't know that it was brilliant. It was so funny. Oh. Do you know what? That's what kind of like you were saying earlier with non-league. It's like, 
yeah, you take it seriously, but you know, that, that, like, don't get it twisted. Let's have a laugh. Let's play some football. Yeah. And if we've got yeah. to have a beer at the end yeah. of the game, let's do so. So, yeah. mate. 100%. 100%. Yeah. Like, obviously, I take White very seriously. Like, I love White. And when I go out, I want to play as well as I can. But it's just that with non league, you can just have. You could just have a bit of a laugh, like to a certain yeah. extent. You can't take it too far. It's not Sunday league. Of course, like, yeah. But yeah. for There's me, if I, if I don't have that humour and that laugh during the game, like sometimes I'm just like, I just go missing. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, if I'm playing with someone in the midfield, like against someone, and they're literally like, I'm like making jokes and like that. Like, that's yeah. game over for me. <laughs> like, I just think, like, how wet are you? Like, <laughs> You're playing non-league, like like you're playing like Brett. Like, he's double serious, like yeah. Nah. yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> love it. Yeah. Oh, class. Um, Beige, I think it's uh, I think it's your questions, big dog. Uh, uh, I was going to say this actually. Yeah, do, you think we should, do you think we should do a wheel spin before we change over questions? Yeah, go on in, mate. Seventeen <laughs> now. Oh, yeah. Seventeen now. Fucking oh, hell. Yeah. Take the words out of my mouth. The pod, boy. You take the words out of my mouth, Terry. I thought it was Jude in the corner then. <laughs> when he used to have that oh. rascal haircut. If it was Jude, he'd be hanging up a shirt in the meantime. <laughs> <laughs> He's still in the laundry room, I've heard. What have we got? Oh, fuck me. Land on Love me again. Beige. Have it, Beige. Beige, you're the one, mate. There you go. So Bit of moonshine, so mate. Time. Mate, you so do you. Last time. Yeah, you know it, man. Oh, I'm gonna struggle. I'm gonna struggle to read these questions. Lou, you might be a bit young to watch uh, Kevin and Perry. I want you to do the eye of the like Paulie. No, I have. I have seen it, mate. Like, what film? You actually look a bit like Perry. <laughs> oh, oh, fucking oh, moonshine! Jeez, fair Let fair. me see how much you got left, Beige. You still got a full oh, one yeah. more. First, didn't you? Brilliant. <laughs> Best, oh, wait, wait, it's actually it's measured in fifths on the side. So it tells <laughs> you how many fifths you got left. I've got one fifth left of moonshine. <laughs> one fifth left of the night, mate. <laughs> well, I actually I actually read somewhere the other day about moonshine. It was like the government haven't actually legalized it in the UK. <laughs> I swear to God, mate. He's going to have something at his door. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He'll be like, hey, smug you up. Hey, <laughs> Paige, good luck reading your question, mate. Yeah, mate. I love it, boy. <laughs> uh, best one for me, mate. The best goal you've scored? Um, I don't know. Do you know what? I'll, I'll butt in. Sorry, Hen. I'll say one I've seen you score here. And we mentioned the game earlier. Played Eastley away pre-season. You know, oh. the, you know the Gaza goal against, I think it was Scotland in the Euros, yeah. in the World Cup? Well, we're talking yeah. a flick over the head, then volley. Mate, I swear, like, we worked it round from the back. It's a good goal. Yeah. Ball's been slipped through. Hell You've definitely like, hit a channel ball, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it? Hell has chipped over defender and he's volleyed it in. And it's probably one of the best goals I've seen, like, on the pitch. It was unreal. Henry, oh, talk to us. What was it, mate? I don't know what comes over me sometimes. Like, and that sounds silly. Like, I, I very rarely do things like that. But, but you are a PDM, aren't you, really? Would you say so? Or are you a bit... Uh, I, I don't know. It, it sounds really silly. I, I literally, at White Oak, not this season, the season four, the first season I was there, I played every position. Yeah. I played right back, centre back. Remember, I played centre back against Lordswood. I played centre mid, attacking mid, up front, right wing, left I played everywhere. So... Yeah. I, I, obviously, I see myself as a number ten, but <laughs> but I'm, I, in my own head, I'm like the, the most creative player you've ever seen in your life. But <laughs> I'm just like a fat slob that should just be playing holding mid and trying <laughs> yeah, to just playing it. it. Okay, that was quite funny because my friends start like, bring that up all the time. And uh, was like, that yeah, home? yeah, yeah, like just kicked it over and just thought, yeah, why not? <laughs> <laughs> it, honestly, it was an incredible. Like we played that, we played them at their place. That like, pitch was lovely, yeah. to be fair. But yeah. it was a bit of a shitter of a journey. Like it took ages to get there. All the roads were closed. Like a lot of lads were late. 
And I, we, one of them ones, yeah. Yeah, I thought, oh, like, it'd be a decent game, but these lads are. I think it was three yeah. or four leagues higher than us at the time. And it was a bit like, for us, it was, oh, just let, let's get a final run out before the season. For them, I think it was their second game before uh, yeah. sorry, into yeah. their pre-season. So it was a bit like, to them, it was nothing. To us, it was a bit like, let's give it a oh, good shot or whatever. Yeah. And we fucking turned up. And old Gazza's turned up, mate, and just chipped and hollied it. And I was <laughs> like, wow, fair <laughs> play. Did you win the game? <laughs> yeah, yeah, 2-1. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Brilliant. Like, um, they didn't literally look like beating us at the time. Obviously, they've got some serious players. And we yeah. turned up. Like, we were just so good that day. It was brilliant. I think that's actually, I know I'm quite critical, but I don't think I did much more in the game. <laughs> No, you're, not, you're not wrong, yeah. no. Fuck all for the rest of the game. <laughs> <laughs> around thinking, I can't believe I've just done that. Yeah. That's not real. Best goal, that, that's got to be up there. But for some reason, I don't I, I don't know why, but I, I just love chipping people. Like, I I think people, all like every club I've been at, like, I've always had at least one chip a season. Like, disgusting. <laughs> And I remember Burgess Hill yeah, away. I this, yeah. And it's on my wrong side. Did you play this think... game or did you have a week off? No, I did. I was in this game. I think. <laughs> yeah, you know him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I chipped it with my left over the goalkeeper and I just I just started running off like all arms <laughs> out, like thinking I'm like big dog, but <laughs> <laughs> Oi, chip's a chip, mate. Chip's a chip. Yeah. Then like uh, the other one would be Obviously, I scored it for England, but it was probably the most easiest goal I'd ever score in my life. So, that, that's, yeah, that's probably... Mate, it's um, it, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know. I was, uh, the ball was nearly in the net when I hit it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bolly. Go on in, babe. Uh, next one, mate. Best game you've played in? Oh, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. Um... <clears throat> So, obviously, going back quite a long time, I played in the FA Youth Cup um, both years. In my first year and my second year, I played at Sellers Park, um, which had some good players. They had some good players. You know, they beat us on the night, uh, Palace. Uh, they had Zaha playing um, and, like, some real kind of big names, you know, that have gone on to do good things. And yeah, we lost that night. But it was just the, that was the first time that, you know, I've, I played in a big stadium with quite a lot of fans. Like FA Youth Cup was kind of like yeah. a big bus because when you play under 18 football, you know, you'll get, you know, maybe a hundred people watching, but there you get like a couple thousand and it's like your first time you've ever like played in front of fans. You start doing things that you wouldn't usually do. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's an unbelievable feeling, but you know, you're playing in the stadium, you're, you're, you're planning to get, like in front of loads of fans. Um, and then obviously we had the same at Ashton Gate, which is Bristol's ground. Uh, we played against um, Birmingham. Um, and actually, a guy called uh, uh, Nathan Redmond played in that, which was quite nice. Yeah. Uh, he's obviously gone on to play in the Premier League, but he, he was, to be fair, like fair play to me, he was unbelievable. He like, ripped us apart that night. He was so yeah. good. Um, but yeah, like, they're, they're, they're good ones. In terms of non league, um, I know it's going to sound a bit wet because I'm still there, but um, I remember Whitehawk. I don't know if you were playing, Shuey. The first game we played, um, we played, um, I can't remember who it was against, but we were something like three or four nil up at half yeah, time. Um, it was the first game. Harlow, yeah. wasn't it? Harlow. Harlow. And I just yeah. remember, like. I've got a story about this game. Sorry, Ellen. has gone. <laughs> yeah, so I just remember, like, um, <clears throat> it's the first proper, proper game that all the fans were there. And I like come out, obviously captain, I come out and I was just thinking, this place and this club is absolutely nuts. <laughs> like, mate, like <laughs> dogs just banging on the drum and they're just shouting like random stuff at the time. Obviously, I didn't know the songs and I was thinking like, this is unbelievable. We've obviously <laughs> started scoring goal after goal and the atmosphere there was unbelievable. Um, and yeah, obviously we thought we had like, we were going to win the league after that game. <laughs> like, I'll celebrate it. <laughs> right, well, put the money on Whitehawk. Obviously, it didn't turn out that way, but... Um, but, yeah, this, go on. What you got? Was this, wait, was this game at home? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I mate, reckon yeah. Odds and Evens was uh, right at the front of it, wasn't he? Probably giving yeah, it... Mate, he loved it. What a bloke. 
What a guy. Oh, we, wait. He, he, he's an wait, let's have a little shout out to Odds and Evens. Yeah. He's been so supportive and what he's a guy. Love him. Avid, avid, he, avid listener, mate. He loves it. I, Love I've him. been like, of, and he's just, he's just a bit different. Like, he brings something completely different to the table. Someone that cares so much, but Definitely. also, like, there's a common ground there because he's never, ever, like, going to shout at you and say you're rubbish today like he's so supportive in whatever you've done I know he's supportive with this he's supportive of my football academy my he's just the nicest guy oh, mate, in football. Yeah. Like, he epitomizes yeah. like you know the non-league fans you talk about like yeah. Premier League fans or whoever but he epitomizes what non-league is all about he's the most yeah. supportive man yeah. and what what he does for Whitehawk Mate, he and like what what he believes in and, and what he believes that like, what Oak should be. Mate, yeah. I, I love him. I think he's yeah. he's such a good uh, bloke. So, uh, uh, well, here's like, Evans, by the way. I'm glad we got a little shout out because he yeah. deserves it. He's a great bloke. Yeah. But on on that note, like he won't be mad at me for saying this. Like he is crackers. Like he's <laughs> absolutely crackers, man. <laughs> like, it, it's like it's like he's on drugs the whole time. Like he's just so much fun. Like, <laughs> Imagine like he sleeps <laughs> listening to, like techno, like he just. <laughs> just well, like, I think I think he was. Oh, did you know he 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 was um he was he used to follow around not follow around. His job was working with Primal Scream. Ah, oh, remember okay. Primal Scream? So he uh, was like, uh, if you don't know Primal Scream, but I'm uh, I'm very good friends with his nephew. So his job okay. when he was when he was younger, he was like a. Uh, um, yeah, I think it was Primal Scream. I hope I got this right because he's going to listen and get it. But I think it was Primal Scream. So he's yeah. rock and roll through and through. Odds and yeah, even. Led, mate, top guy. <laughs> <laughs> what a guy, mate. Honestly, what a guy. Yeah. Just, just quickly on that Harlow game. So yeah, this is obviously the first game of the season, whatever. Pretty much a whole bunch of new lads together. Like it wasn't a case of, I oh, know yeah. you, you know, it was literally like, I didn't really know anyone, probably same view, Hen, like it was a yeah. brand new squad. And I remember pre-season was a little bit reserved in like, we would play the game, we'd all have a bit of a laugh or whatever, but it would just be on to the next one. And I remember yeah. after this Harlow game, it was, in my head, it was pretty much the same. Like we've won the game, right? Shower, change, whatever, have a, have a drink or food. And I just remember seeing this thing go from <laughs> one, end, one end of the dressing room to the other and I was like firstly who is that this yeah. guy so this guy was bollico right no clothes on I think do you know what I think he even might have had his boots on yeah boots and <laughs> <finish. laughs> <laughs> yeah armband socks pads boots that was it nothing else and I just remember seeing like a a slug go from one stop to the other back Fourth, back, fourth. And I was looking at the boys thinking, am I like, am I seeing this or what? And I've never seen it before. That's exactly what you need though, isn't it? That's exactly what you need. So other people, so other people listen to this, they'll be like, oh, that's weird. But I'm telling you, you (laughs) see that in the change room, you're thinking, banging, we've won the game. We've seen a naked skipper slide from one end to the other. You know what I mean? Honestly, it was (laughs) class. He's come up with a rash (laughs) from head to toe, (laughs) mate. (laughs) And it, he was like, oh, you're getting yeah. buzzing. And that was it. Hey, can you not remember on the Tuesday, I actually had, like, you know, like, um, if you slide on Astro, I had an Astro burn <laughs> on the forehead. <laughs> he, Joey, he was practicing this in training. This is the sort of kid we got on, mate. He was doing this naked slug at Backer on a fucking 10 o'clock at night. <laughs> Henry, you're what, wait, you're what team need, mate. That is quality. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Unreal, yeah. by the way. Yeah, I think- <laughs> Got to have that. I think that I've been brought up with that, and that sort of broke the ice a little bit, H, didn't it? Yeah, hundred percent, mate. It was uh, classic. You saw a few boys. That's that in it, though. If yeah. you, if you played, it's not not like, every win. I used to like go right, lads, get the music on, and yeah. I just right. It's like that motion, isn't it? I mean, you just like yeah. <laughs> it's like honestly, it's like honestly when you're a young when you're a youngster and you're a bit nervous in the change room you've won the game you want to get involved it only takes the likes of you and we had spenny last week like spenny for us used to do the windmill with his cock out and you just think <laughs> yeah it's a little bit uncomfortable but you think fuck it we're all in it together yeah, <laughs> yeah. and that's another thing we go back to non-league that's what it's all about mate i don't yeah. think you'd see that in like yeah. you know, you'd see that in the pro and you, you the likes of henry and spenny you think 
yeah, fuck it, someone's got to do a worm or someone's got to get a cock out to get the water going. And that's what it's all about, mate. I love it. Mate, that's what you mean, any, me. Quality. Any, other, any other place or workplace, like, you just be like, that is just bang. That's not right. <laughs> but the football dressing room, like, anything goes. Like, I've yeah. seen the worst things in the world in a football dressing room. Like, yeah. you couldn't... put What people do to people, like, in a, in a football dressing room, in a football environment, yeah. like, you don't get that anywhere else. And if you did, like, you'd be locked up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. You can't be working at a bank and then on a Friday night just start being a slug naked with your work shoes on, can you? <laughs> Honestly. Oh, real. I remember another thing with you, Hen, is like, I've, I've seen it, but I've never fully seen it with someone like yourself. So we'd all be in the showers after the game, yeah? And all of a sudden, and I, I'm not going to mention his name. I, was, I might actually, but... He oh, has got. It. Do it. He so has got. Go on, just do it. it. <laughs> so do it. Frank, Frankie Chapel has got the biggest bollocks like <laughs> I've ever seen. Like I'm not boys. I'm talking like tennis cricket balls, like them hockey <laughs> balls, mate. They are massive. Yeah. He's got huge bollocks. So I'm like, we're in the shower after the game. Like we. Are coming. Is he your centre half, by the way? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, th- I think I've heard about his bollocks before. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's why he can't move. They're so heavy. <laughs> he has to tape around his leg. He's, he's waiting for marriage, the poor kid. Fucking you. <laughs> Max, <laughs> we're in the uh, dressing room. I think it was at the Eastley, right? So Eastley game. The showers are there, but there's also a hose in the dressing room. So I'm like, a few lads in the shower, whatever. <laughs> right. I, I don't think you can say this, mate. <laughs> Frankie's in the shower, yeah, and I'll keep, it, I'll keep it. <laughs> and all of a sudden, I've seen the old sluggage come out, and he's gone. For you've got the biggest balls I've ever seen. <laughs> and if if I say a man handle, that's probably doing it justice. I think he he was giving a good old grope, thinking for fair play, lad. And I think. <laughs> Frank, Frank, you'll be buzzing with this, but I thought I'd just drop it in there because that's another thing. Like, I've seen a few weird things. Like We spoke last week about Tristan <laughs> covering his shower and that. Uh, but I've, I've never seen like someone be so fascinated by someone's... Well, I, fair I, point, I, you know, if, if there's something out of like the ordinary, you've got to kind of... like I get it. <laughs> and let me tell you, they, they I, are at the ordinary. And I know Hen is... I don't, think, I don't think like... I don't think we're doing it justice. Like I'm not talking like <laughs> big. I'm talking like... I'm looking at him thinking, like, how do you walk? <laughs> like, mate, I, I just imagine if, if there's a programme on, like, Channel 4, like, back in the days, like, 10 stone testicles, right, where the geezer's, like, <laughs> like that, that, that was, they're literally that big. I'm not joking. That big. What, each? Each? Yeah. Mate, that big. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like a bad spider at the bottom. Oh, <laughs> blew up. Um, oh, unreal. Yeah. <laughs> Fair play to <laughs> I thought you were so much worse than that, H, but obviously we, we, we won't we'll say it. So um, we'll, we'll, we'll save that for, for our like, part time. two review, yeah, when we're in a pub or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, class. Right, Paige, <laughs> you got one more question, Paige? Yeah. Last one from me, mate. Tell us your best night out story. Oh. <laughs> oh, mate. <laughs> so many Oh, it's so, hard, isn't it? Because you've always been H pissed knows, on night out, so you've got to remember. H knows one of the stories. I can't, I can't say. I've got to be careful what I say because uh, some of it. <laughs> all, all I'm, I'm going to leave it here. If I ask you if you want a vodka Red Bull, don't take it. <laughs> right? <laughs> don't take it. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. I all the lads, right? I'll, I'll, <laughs> I was always in charge of the uh, the kid team hey, yeah. on a night. So like white Oaks, one year we got loads of money, like loads and loads of money. And uh Pretty sure you're not turning up. That's all the fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no. Fair play, fair play to him. Just has like one Guinness and goes like, hey, "Yeah, I've got an early night, lads." <laughs> <laughs> but I remember like we're getting the, all this uh, champagne and the drinks in, and a lady comes over to me like, "What mix would you like?" I'm straight ahead up, like, Red Bull. Red Bull. Oh, Red Bull. I, I, I don't drink Red Bull, but I know what's going to happen to that Red Bull. So, obviously, we'll stay up tonight. But, hey, hey, if 
basically anyone on here that wants a vodka red ball from me just don't take it um, <laughs> it won't taste quite the same will it Hennis <laughs> yeah, it was, no, right. um, what, el- what else is there I'm just trying to think I remember the, that night out we had um, we went to Shoosh yeah. and oh, there was lads like young lads that like were just in it just loving it mate like they're down in, <laughs> they're, down in, like, mosh, they're like moshing and I'm like up the top thinking like this ain't but what we could do, yeah, like me and the older lads, we'd have like a little, co- like a little committee. We'd um, we'd buy the bottles and then we'd just put some back. Like we'd just put some under the sofa. So like for when the lads like come back, like no, no more drinks. There's no more drinks. <laughs> and me, and, like, me and the older lads are just like living like, kids. like we got bottle after bottle after bottle. <laughs> and, I'm just trying to think what the best, the best night out story would be. I think. Uh, we were at Crowborough, right? And this is another goalkeeper. And it was Chris this time. <laughs> in any team I've played in, we've, we've always done, made sure we do uh, Secret Santa. Yeah. And there's a few things that, you know, the boys have got and it's funny. And I had the goalkeeper at Crowborough at the time. This guy called Dan Ellis. He's absolutely massive. Like, Bill, well, I say Bill, he's fat. He, he's not <laughs> Bill. I to absolutely get on at him. He's fat, but... One of these, one of these boys, like, I couldn't believe what his missus told me. Like, he's lost loads of weight, like loads of weight, and I'm like going, <laughs> like he can't get any bigger. Like, and, and, like six foot, six foot four, six foot five, and for some reason, like we we had this relationship where I just got away with things with him. Like he was so like angry to other people, but I would actually just like absolutely batter him all the time, and. <laughs> I got him in Secret Santa and no one noticed, but I obviously, as captain at the top Cobra, I rigged it. I made sure I got him. So I was like, <laughs> right. So I was like, picking out, oh, oh, no, put that one back. And then obviously I got him. And uh, yeah, I got him this uh, board and he, we went 29 games without losing. We had 29 game wow. winning in that thing. We got to the Vars like quarters. And the twenty one of the games, like twenty ninth game, like he went to catch it, and it literally went through his hands. We lost, so I got him these rascal sondicos, pit holes in them, right? Pit massive holes in them, and then I thought, you know what? That's not enough. So I messaged his missus, like I knew her quite well. I messaged her saying like, Look, I've got to get down here. Have you got any old photos? Because I knew he was fat, but I didn't realise he was that fat. <laughs> Mate, she sent me some photos of him. Like, and mate, he was he bloomed. He was massive. And I put them <laughs> on the board and I thought like you know, I try and take things too far sometimes and I thought, right, that might be enough. Um so I messaged these missus and I said, I know it sounds really weird, but like, can I have a pair of your knickers? <laughs> <laughs> and she she was like quite open. She's like, Yeah, yeah, no worries. So she messaged me and said, Look, if it's for a joke. He's bought this knicker and bra set and he said, like, wear it for, like, a night out when we have together because they got kids. And, um, like, wear it, like, on a nice night out. So I was thinking, absolutely happy days. So, I thought, <laughs> And um, so, yeah, I, I hung them on the, on the corner of this board that I gave him. And as I'm going, walking into the chamber, I'm thinking, like, no, nah, no. Nah. I had, like, this mind thing, like, no, 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 I'm not going to give him them. So I gave him the board. It was all fun and games and that. And we were all going out on a night out. So what did I do? On the night out, I wore his girlfriend's knickers. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we're all at the dinner table. And I've gone, ding, ding. Uh, right, I've got a speech. Thanks, everyone, coming. <laughs> like, we, had like, we had like all 30 of us, all the team, youth team. Like, we had all the coaches. My dad was a manager. And I just like, pulled down my jeans and I go... I took them off and I was waving them around. We're going, Dan, you remember these? <laughs> oh, he's, actually he's actually going nuts trying to chase me around the table. Like, where did you get them? Right. Like, you know. <laughs> anyway, like, we're all the boys, like, having turns holding them and, like, whatever. <laughs> like, lad stuff. Um, oh, anyway, oh, he took it quite well. Like, fair play to him, took it well. Anyway, his missus. I hope you don't mind me saying this, but oh well, I don't care. <laughs> he's, he's, right? Bear in mind, he's like probably a bit like wound up with her, and um, she's in the same club as us. Like she's in the same club, and one of the boys on the group chat has got a picture of him like kissing her, like lip on lip. 
only like joking around, but lip on lip. And he sent a picture to the group. <laughs> and next thing you know, I just see Dan get up and he's like, right, where is she? Like, he's lost his, He's lost the plot. Absolutely lost the plot. And um, he's like trying to find her. Next thing you know, like, she's outside calling me. He's like beating up her car. Like, he's, just, <laughs> he's absolutely smashing the car in the middle of Tunbridge Wells. She just rang the police. And I just remember... <laughs> calling me like out of breath I'm like where are you he's like he goes I'm in Tunbridge Wells car park and apparently the chief the police are chasing him around the car park <laughs> and uh, he's quite a big lad he got to the top he's laid there lit a fag and was like just take me take me and I didn't know this until <laughs> so I was thinking right well she must have taken him home so I rang him and rang him and his phone kept dying on me I was thinking well that's weird he rang me back like eight o'clock that night, like, yeah, I spent the night in Nick. <laughs> and he was banned from he was banned from Tunbridge Wells for like two months. He weren't allowed to come into Tunbridge Wells or something like that. And I just can't feel that I think like it's my fault. Like I'm to blame for that reason. <laughs> like, if I didn't bring the knickers out, like he would never get like he's already got a critic. Oh. That's probably one of the best yeah. thing like Mate, oh. that is there's class. Not- <laughs> so, um, I've, I've, you probably just explained it then, but your funniest moment in football. Oh, yeah, I, I think that's got to be up there. I've done, yeah, on in a football like team, like there's so much things that happen. Like everything, when you turn up with your lads, everything's funny. Like we've seen things. I've seen. It might have been me, but I'm going to say it was someone else. I've seen someone right. At Maidstone away, they I don't know if you've you've probably played there, but they have like um the floor um is literally it goes walk goes straight into the shower. Yeah. And you know, we pit loads of bottles down. We made ten pins of bottles and we were playing ten pin bowling, but like, we lubed up the floor like with uh, like very liquid and shower gel and we would run as fast as we can down, bang. <laughs> Whoever mm. got so many bottles, right? Wouldn't have to buy the round. Oh, so, for some geezers that wouldn't do it, obviously, right? Fine, you buy a round, you buy a round. And to be yeah. fair, a lot of part, but it's that, that's up there. That's got to be one of the funny. But in football on a Saturday, pre-season's the best. I think pre-season's the best because there's no, there's no worry. You don't have to win. It's not a case of yeah, you can. Everyone's unfair. Everyone's having a laugh. Everyone's getting to know each other. And pre-season before games, like. The singing H. Yeah, yeah. When people do their initiation, like... Yeah, class. Some people just come to life. Like, yeah. I, you there when um, Robbo did his? No, I've seen it, though. He, I, think, I don't Mate. know if it went viral, but it went around. Like, he, he was quite a good voice, isn't he? Mate, I wasn't expecting it. And all of a sudden, he's just come out with this most amazing voice. But he <laughs> knew he had a good voice. He's, like, giving it all, like... He's moving around. He had like um, dance moves to his song, his own <laughs> song. Like, <laughs> it's brilliant, mate. It's brilliant. But yeah, I think yeah, there's loads. There's loads. But I think I've probably said some of the best ones. Yeah. yeah. So you meant you mentioned earlier um, your your kind of international kind of spell, but international yeah. call ups. Talk to us. At, what, what was that like? Yeah, it was uh, brilliant. To be fair, it come out the blue. Um, I just got a message one day from the England manager just saying, look, we've seen you at um, non-league level. You know, we've spoke, some people have spoke highly of me coming for a trial. And I remember going into a trial, I think there's 50 kids there, uh, 50 men there. And uh, that was one of the trials. And there's a trial here, trial there. And um, it just got shorter and shorter and shorter. Yeah. And, you know, I'm, no, I'm not saying I'm the best player in the team because I'm not by far. Um, but, I was quite surprised when it got down to the stage. You know, I had the best, um, the best trial I could ever have. You know, yeah. I played uh, up front, wide, but in six aside. You know, I'm, I think I scored 13 goals in my trial. Right? Yeah. I bear in mind I played Saturday, and that's not my game. Like that sort of side, like five aside sort of thing. I'm, I'm not bad at it, but you know, I've never really played it with my friends and pals, and I don't go to like leisure leagues and things like that. So it's a bit new to me. Um, and then I just got short and short and short until I made it to the, the full England squad. And before you knew it, I was here on the plane to, to Crete and, yeah, playing in a World Cup. But 
My only regret is that I, I had a bad knee injury. I done it a hive away, and I tore the uh, cartilage in my knee. Mm. Um, and I went there, I went to the World Cup, not sure whether I was going to play because, you know, I had full intentions that I wanted to, but I'd only been back to training one week before the World Cup with Whitehawk. Um, and, yeah, I didn't really know the damage of what I'd actually done. And I played yeah. the first game on a Saturday against France, which I wasn't meant to play, but a lot of boys played on the Saturday, so they flew out Saturday night. And the game against France was on the Saturday. So it was only a friendly anyway. So I played, done okay, played quite well. But I had the heaviest strapping on my knee. Um, so, yeah. But in terms of that, that's got to be one of the best and most amazing experiences I've ever had in football. Yeah. Like, it was, it was just so surreal. It was like you were famous. Like, you, you were turning up to games and people, like, actually screaming your name, asking for autographs. You then Ooh. come straight off. You, you having to do interviews. and. And the nightlife of where we were was just incredible. Like, it was, it was serious, but it wasn't, like, serious enough that, you know, people were like, like, don't go out, don't do this, don't do that. Like, yeah, yeah. Every, yeah. Doing it. We basically lived, stayed in the hotel, and there was, like, five or six hotels within a mile, half a mile radius that the whole of, like, every team was staying in. So you had, like, Brazil, France, like, all in this one enclosed area. Yeah. And it had a real nice feel to it. And then yeah. the only way I could describe it, like the stadium was here and next to it was just literally like a strip of like bars, clubs that were open to <laughs> late. Like you'd play, but some nights, like we were playing until like half 11 at night. Yeah. Like, it went so late and then you'd end up go home, get changed, go out. Um, but as an experience, obviously it's something that, you know, I'll take with me for the rest of my life. Like, you know, yeah. it, it's... Yeah. Unbelievable, and I've, I just feel so lucky, you know, to be playing with such good players and playing on yeah. a, a stage that, you know, I've been honest with myself, I didn't think I would be able to play, you know. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. My only regret is that I wish it's not a regret, but I wish I went there fit. I wish I went there, you know, not injured because I feel like I may have been able to give a bit more than what I did, but if uh, you know, that, that 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 couldn't have been helped, yeah. So, um You've probably, again, mentioned this in the pod already, but the worst prank you've seen played on someone in the dressing room. Like, have you seen... What, what's been the worst thing you've seen, the worst prank? I mean, probably the nick of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah there, there's no... Um, just trying to think what the worst one is. I've seen some real bad things. Like, I've seen... I've seen people, like, poo in someone's shoe. Yeah. <laughs> right. But like, do it so they can't see it. So they put it on like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah Them sort of things like yeah, uh, they happen all the time though. Yeah, you, know? you see it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. In in the shower, like oh, I've, I'm an absolute menace. <laughs> like with people, like you don't get in the, people don't choose sometimes not to get in the shower with me. I don't know why, but. I just choose oh, not. Yeah. We just, I just do like random stuff. Like, there's no safe moment around like me and a lot of people that I've been playing football with. Like, you know, you yeah. have to be super careful. Like, I've cut holes in people's like um, tops so like they come out like vest and like V neck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like probably what you're wearing, Lou. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, no. Like, not <laughs> Like, it happens every week. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, every week. You know, you can't. Yeah, you, the thing is that you're never safe. And the problem is with me is that I'm certainly never safe because I always just give people like the worst things, and I'm always expecting it. But I don't. I actually think like, yeah, I'm gonna get my own back. But I clap it. But I'm like, fair play. That's brilliant. Yeah, because like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you if you rise to it and you go, ah, you lose your head, like. You're gonna get it ten times worse every week. Yeah. <laughs> that is just how it works, you know. But yeah, that that there's there's been too many mates to say. Yeah. Well, uh, I'm real. I can imagine you've had you've had some in yours in your like dressing rooms. Yeah, yeah. We've had it, yeah. Like, like we to be fair, we, we spoke of one in the first episode, didn't we, boys? Or second regret. Yeah. I don't had, remember. Um, there was a there was an incident where 
Oh, well, it's not really me, but it's obviously Marv that's involved in it. And he was in the dressing room. I don't know, actually, Marv, do you want to explain it? Well, yeah, I'll explain it again because it's the last episode of the series. Look, me, <laughs> yeah. me and another player that will remain unnamed weren't starting yeah. for the game. So we got put on water, water bottle duties. Um, <laughs> we, um, so everyone went out. And then anyway, we went into the shower to fill the water bottles up, saw that there was a... Uh, yeah, let's put it lightly. There was a dildo in there, so we thought, right, we'll put, the dildo in. <laughs> we'll put the dildo in the water bottle and whoever gets it, gets it. And, uh, yeah, that was it. I'm not proud of it. But, yeah. That is, that is unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not proud of it, but I'm here. No, like, I'm, I'm saying what, it. You know what, though, I, think, I, think, I think you missed the best bit, though, Marv. I Go think on. the gaffer actually drunk the bottle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to say that bit. Did you let him? No, I didn't let him. I didn't let him know. I just thought, go on, mate. You look a bit first. You haven't listened to that. <laughs> that is, um, imagine that. Like, you get to the bottom of the water bottle and it's, something's rattling. You're thinking, what is that? Mate, I was just hoping, <laughs> wait, you know what? I was just hoping he'd put me, he'll put me on so I could just run on the pitch and forget about it. But it never happened. I think I was, I think I was on the bench for the whole game. And I think, oh, please, don't look inside. What, but, what, um, what was it doing there? It was just floating about, mate. Oh, sorry, hold on, man. <laughs> um, you know what? I think there was a women's team that obviously had a bit of fun that uh, that used it. Uh, <laughs> whatever. That is unbelievable. <laughs> that, that... Oh, unreal. But, yeah. Brilliant. Wait, by the way, boys, hell of a pod again. Yeah. Hell yeah. Of a pod. Hell Boy, of a pod. boys, I'm got... pissed, by the way. Like, no way will I. Surprise, old fucking moon cleaner. Mate, oi, there's actually. I'm just going to hey, shoot this off. There's actually, there's actually only a little bit there. We got one more viewer question. Now, we had quite a few of these headers. Um, yeah. So I'm going to narrow it down to one because I think I've got actually a picture to show you boys for this. Um, I've never seen this before. And this is incredible. So. No, no, if, if it's bad, don't say it. No, no, it's not bad. It's actually banter, to be fair. Because there, there's so many things that could have been said on this podcast. I think I've got off lightly. No, yeah, you've done well, mate. Well, right? This one's actually decent. Um, one, on, of, one of your teammates, I think, ex-teammates, has sent this in, and he's and he said, ask him about his favourite goal celebration. Now, this was at Lewis. This is not bad, but <laughs> I just want to know what was going through your mind when you scored this goal and you went up to this... <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable! I've, I was that not on the wall, by the way. Well, what well, else, man? Look at it! Unbelievable! That is, that is unreal. How old is she, by the way, Henry? <laughs> you know that went viral. Did it? Did it? Non-league people like messaging me, like, "Can we use this?" I was like, uh, "Yeah, no worries." And it just blew up everywhere. But unbelievable. <laughs> Well, I just saw the youngest girl in the crowd and I just thought, why not? Yeah, especially in Lewis, yeah. Stick it on her. <laughs> I can't believe it. To be fair, a lady called Ethel, um, she's at Lewis. Oh, absolute sweetheart. She's unbelievable. Great kisser. Um, <laughs> <laughs> she's, yeah, she's honestly the most yeah. loveliest woman. Most loveliest woman. And I remember... Um, <laughs> scoring that goal and I don't know what I don't actually know what like I said to you before like, these things happen and I think, look back and think like, what was I doing like, so I ended up running over to her just absolutely smooching her but she's like old lady so I'm grabbing her by the head and just like proper trying to snog her she must have thought like what is going on like what yeah. is going on uh, nearly, nearly pulled her head off the poor woman yeah yeah <laughs> yeah I also got caught on camera um, and then yeah since then like you know, we we actually have like a really lovely like friendship as well. I know it sounds silly, like yeah, she's an elderly lady, but she was so she was so nice. She was so good to Lewis Football Club. You know, she she was unbelievable. And I used to remember like when I used to go to games. The first thing yeah. I would do, I wouldn't even go up to the changing room. I'd go in, and at Lewis they have that stand behind yeah. the goal, and she yeah. would be there with raffle tickets, and. I'd always, before every game, go up to her, give her a kiss. And I remember her son, like, don't you be kissing her. Like, <laughs> that turned me off, like, thinking I was trying to flirt with her and that. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, I always bought, went up there and always bought her, if I had some change on me, I always bought a raffle ticket before I played the game. Never won mine, but, um, 
but yeah, she, yeah, F one. She some often sometimes messages me on um, uh, Tinder. No, no, I mean um, <laughs> <laughs> Twitter. Twitter. Sorry. What a place! What a place! Lewis is a good club, mate. Very yeah. good club. Unbelievable. Listen, Helles, it has been a pleasure, mate. It's been Loved an absolute it. yeah. pleasure. Can't wait um, to get him on in the pub as well. That's happening. Yeah. <laughs> right. Bae, Bae, Bae. Think before you go, finish that moonshine for us. See off yeah. the episode. That's coming in the post it's tomorrow. Gone. Finish that off, Paige. Love it. <laughs> Cheers, boys. Oh, right, Helles, it's been a pleasure, Bae. mate. Thank you so much. Cheers, boys, boys. See you soon. Have a good weekend. Boys, you enjoy. Too. Really appreciate it. Thanks, Hen. Take care, mate. Cheers, mate. Love it, boys.